Welcome back to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to show you how to connect a real switch or router to your GNS. So uh, it's one of the most common questions I get is, okay, you know, I know that GNS you can hook up your virtual routers to real stuff. So, you know, how do I do it? Okay, so let's assume you're on a laptop and uh, most laptops, actually probably all laptops today, will come with an uh, uh, Ethernet port. Right, fast Ethernet ports. Some of the high-end ones will come with a gigabit Ethernet port. So you want to take, you know, you want to take a, a fast Ethernet cable from your laptop port and connect it to a real switch. So let's say like a 3550. So we're we're assuming that you already have the 3550 or whatever router or switch, you know, on on the table. It's already set up. You've consoled into it, set up the IP addresses and stuff like that. So we go into GNS3. And let's say you wanted to hook up a virtual 2691 to your real switch. So it's pretty easy. Drag in the, tw the 2691. Actually, I should not have undid the node types. Okay, then we're going to drag in the cloud. Okay, so you probably always wonder what the heck was this cloud thing. Well, the cloud thing is what your real interfaces on your laptop are. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this cloud thing, we're going to configure, click on C1, and you can see we've got generic Ethernet NIO. Okay, as we click on that, we're given a couple things, and the second thing on the drop down is my uh, network adapter. It's the Realtek uh, fast Ethernet adapter. We can click on that, and then we're going to add it. All right, so it's, it's popped in right there. So then, whatever link I plug into the cloud, I'm going to have an option to connect to the fast Ethernet port. So if I click add a link here, click on my router, so fast00 on the virtual router connected to the cloud, it's going to go to the fast Ethernet link of my computer. So we're going to click on that. And then what we would do is we would uncheck add a link. I'm going to hit play to start everything out. At this point, you would probably connect your real router or switch to the other side of your fast Ethernet port. Open the console window here. You would configure your router just as usual, configure the IP addresses, and then you would test it out by pinging to the real switch. So that's that's a pretty easy way of connecting your virtual switches to real switches, or virtual routers to real routers or real switches. Um, I'm just going to I'm going to make this a two-part video. In this part we just I just taught you how to set it up. In the second part I'll actually uh, show you the actual connection to a real switch. I just need to get it back from a, a friend and uh we'll see if we can set up uh, a VLAN or uh, just actually get it to to really ping between the virtual and real stuff. Thanks for watching. My name's Humphrey Chung for Router Gods.